Hey, this is Fat Girls Rule, and um, I got a surprise in the mail today, and um, totally surprised. So I got a package in the mail from Miss Pam, and from my the collaborative channel, the different pretty that I'm on. And I had sent her a little package in the mail of some um, one of the little lush gift packs, and um, um, just a send some cheer her way because she had been going through a lot of of hard times and and um with us she had a friend that passed away which is just i'm sure pretty devastating for her and and just so much stuff you know so i thought you know let's uh, i wanted to do something uh nice that uh, could cheer her up and just take a hot bubble bath with her lush items and um so anyway, so I got a package in the mail. I'm like, who's this from? Because I have some swaps I'm working on, but we haven't did the swaps yet. We're still putting it all together and almost ready. And so I was like, oh, when I saw the address and the name, and I was like, oh my gosh. And you did not have to send me anything, Pam. I mean, me sending you something was just, you know, for me just to cheer you up and just like, you know, anybody else to send you something and... You know, we just want to cheer you up <clears throat> on our little channel. So, anyways, but I want to show you guys what I got. And I was, like, so excited. And she got me, like, some neat different stuff. So, um, the first thing is this book that I'm reading. And this is Well-Rested Women. And it's, like, 60 Soothing Suggestions. And it just goes into detail. <clears throat> the, the author that wrote it is, she's not, like, a doctor or anything like that. She had, like, you know, uh, she was, like... Um, you know, deprived of sleep and and whatnot for like years and years and years. So she just kind of goes through it and um, explains to you like how she did this, yada, yada, yada. Because see, I've had like, you know, especially after all the stuff that happened with the bad ex, um, I was not um, getting enough sleep. Um, I ended up, uh, when I was going to therapy, um, I went, um, he gave me... Um, cause see all like for years and years and years, I've always taken like Tylenol PM and he's like, no, 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 no. The Tylenol PM is not meant for like everyday use. It's meant for when you really can't fall asleep once in a while. So I didn't know that. And he says, it's really bad on your liver to have prolonged use of it. So I stopped taking it. I very rarely take it now. So, um, but like, I don't drink any, um, you know, like caffeinated beverages, um, after three o'clock and, um, I always meditate before I go to sleep while I'm laying there in, in my bed with my head on my pillow. I kind of meditate inside. Um, and I do not allow myself to think or dwell on things. Like I would not allow myself to dwell on Lady Spall Night or IRS or bad ex, um, you know, would not allow myself to dwell on these things. I push them aside and refuse to think about them until the next day when I need to think about it when I'm wide awake. So, or when I'm doing, you know, chit chatting with you guys and I just want to get rid of some whatever worries or whatever and get encouragement from you guys. Cause you guys are total, my support system. So, um, Anyways, so I've learned a few things. So I'm sure this book is like really going to help me. I've already started reading it and it looks awesome and I'm really excited. And so anyways, let me go on to the next item. Let me do the other little baby book, which is so cute. Eat dessert first. And it's got some adorable sayings in here like, um, lead me not into temptation. I could find my way myself. <laughs> um... Let's see. Give marriage a shot, if only for the wedding cake. Yeah. No, we we'll just have a wedding cake made and eat it. Um, eat the forbidden fruit. It brings the taste of paradise into your life. So, really cute sayings. I might even just, like, copy some of these sayings and put them in, like, some of my um, letters to people or postcards or whatever. Because they're so adorable. So, I think I'll stick it in my... I have a drawer upstairs that just has, like... All like postcards and confetti and stamps and pretty papers and and I use that when I have a few minutes I like sit down and write postcards to my friends on YouTube so 
Next item she got me was the Twilight uh, Woods Body Lotion from uh, the Bath and Body Works. And mm, it smells quite amazing. Um, yeah, yum. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, next one is, and I don't have one like this, it's called Tempting. Or, yeah, Tempting from uh, Rimmel and it is beautiful green so that's going to be fun to play with. I've been like really, I know you guys can't really maybe tell in here but I've been playing with a lot of color and um, even though I have green eyes and I try to stay away from the from uh, green eyeshadows because it doesn't enhance my eyes color, I have found other ways to enhance my eye color so I'm able to use any color that I want and just to let you know real quick because you know I you know I have my uh, gel eyeliner is really dark purple and then I um, had this um, dark purple and I put that on my waterline so I already have that purple which is gonna help my eye color pop and so then I'm just like able to use any color I want because I would like get so bummed out that I couldn't use like cool green colors and because it wouldn't help my eye color pop and so um, which I wanted to enhance that um, because my eye color is a little bit different so um, you know so yeah so thank you so much Pam I love it love it love it and um, I want to set that aside because it's like my most favorite I think um, I also got um, some cute little I don't know if you I don't think you call these necessarily um, samples, but they're, they probably came together in a, like a little kit. And they're like, this one's like crumb, crumbberry pies and uh, lavender pound cake and then gingerbread man. They are lotions. Sh yeah. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. And <clears throat> next cute thing I thought was cute. And I don't, Vojo Energy. And they're like little, kind of like a mint type thing. And it has a little mirror too. I mean, but they taste really good. Yeah. Yum. I don't know that it gives me energy, but I like them. They're yummy. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. They're good. Okay. <clears throat> now next is I got these, which I love. Um, I love Yankee candles and tarts and everything. I've given them away in packages. So we have lavender sage, which is yummy, uh, lotus blossom, sage and cinnamon, which would never be a scent that I would think of picking out, and it smells awesome. Juicy peach, because I'm a juicy peach. And then last but not least, and I was so happy, which she sent me a warmer, and I love wax warmers, and she's got to know that because she sent me one, and this one is adorable. It says, little things matter most. And I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Um, I would love to put it in my new nursery room, but I can't. Because you have to like plug it in, and then it has wax in it, and the babies would be playing in it. But that is such a cute saying, little things matter most. So I don't know um, what I'm gonna, where I'm going to put it yet. So um, I'm still going to think about it. It must be a special place where the daycare kids can't touch it. Might put it in my bathroom, but still, they would probably still be playing with it. But anyways, and I got this adorable card, and I think she made it. Wait, my nose it just. Whenever I smell stuff, ah, it makes my nose itch. You guys know that. Okay, I don't know if she made this or not, but it's so adorable. And I didn't know this. My son did that. He put this. He figured that out, and it says thanks. It's so cute. Oh my god. My son's going to be downstairs. I can hear him. And thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. Just wanted to send you a little something to show my gratitude. Um, I know how busy you are and hope the book helps you find ways to rest. Pam, thank you so much. Yes, I'm going to read the whole book. And um, I'm sure it'll give me some more tips. You know, I still like, which is perfectly fine with me. I wake up like... Um, Sometimes I like get 12 or at 2, and I always get up, go to the bathroom, get a drink, maybe grab something to munch on, <clears throat> and because sometimes I'm just hungry, and I don't, I better get something, a little something to munch on, or <coughs> I won't be able to get back to sleep. And I always get on the computer for like 10, 
the 20 minutes max. And for whatever reason, it makes me sleepy again when I was already like totally wide awake. And, um, oops, the kitties are like right here. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. I'll try to grab one. And, um, but it, for whatever reason, you know, like the reading that I did that I got from my therapist, I said, don't get on the computer, don't read a book, because it will make you wide awake. Being on that computer, I'm just like, uh, I'm just like ready to fall back to sleep. So that's something that I figured out on my own. And it also says that in this book, you know, some things, you know, you kind of figure on your own what works for you and, and whatnot. <clears throat> so I started reading that today. And reading the book made me want to fall asleep. I was like, I'm going to fall asleep just thinking about falling asleep. So anyways, I can't even freaking remember if, I don't think I did. I just, I don't think I did a vlog on my lady spa night. So it went awesome. The video that I did do, because I was like so super busy doing pedicures and messing around with my friends, that it was towards the end of the night and we had already closed. So uh, on the side where I show like my sons and my ex-husband, that had like a lot of vendors too, but they had already packed up and left because business was slowing down. So they went ahead and uh, left. But, uh, and we were just, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, we were just finishing up on the manicures and the face and the massages and all that. But at least you guys see some of it, like how I had it set up. And, um, it was a lot of fun. I wish we had more people because that night it was daddy date night. So all the moms had to stay at home and watch the little ones while they had that. So next year, if I do it, um, uh, it will be in March and, um, so it'll be a better turnout because we could have made, I had, it was freaking awesome. I had so many friends that came through and I, I had food enough to feed an army. Um, everything was set up before six, everything was ready and done and, and it was looks like so awesome. And, and, and I had, everybody had their job. Like I had one girl that just had to worry about drinks and that is it. You know, one person that just had to worry about picking up trash. You give everybody one simple job to do. When they're done with it, then they can go do some spa treatments if they wanted to. And so, yeah, pretty freaking cool. And the DJ was hopping. And, and you get to hear my friend singing in the background. Um, she's singing. There's a story. Ba -da 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 -da. I can't remember how it goes. I can't remember the name of the song. It's like an old song. You'll hear it if you watch the video, Lady Spa Night video. And uh, her husband is one, she just found out that he has lung cancer and he's already at stage four. So, on top of all, all my crazy ass fundraising, um, I'm going to start making Fat Girl Brownies. Hopefully this week I'll have them out and um, able to start selling and we have a um, an account already started for him and we're already saving money in it because it's, you know, I don't want us like a downer, but it's more likely he's probably going to pass. And, um, we need his, um, funeral paid for. And so it's hard. So this, you know, there's somebody that's been part of Wellsville, like, my whole life, you know, he's always been there. We haven't been like major friends, but probably like in the last couple of years, we've become closer friends. And I just feel bad for his wife, and it feels so bad for his son, who's just now turned 11. Uh, last Friday, he turned 11. And um, so um, tonight, right now, they're giving him an award at the football game at halftime. They wanted a plaque made for him. And so I uh, have connections, of course. And I had a pl plaque made that says, um, uh, you know, Wellsville Eagles biggest fan, Tommy so-and-so, and since 1978. So, and it has like the Eagle, like the Wellsville Eagle, you know, that's for my little town. And, and so he's going to be like so, so proud. And I, I didn't go because I hate football games. And, you know, I just don't want to, I don't know, because it's too hard. So, but every time I see him, I act like nothing's wrong, you know, and still give him shit like hell because I know everybody's going to be like changing the way they act to him and he's not going to want that because he is extremely positive about it and he will like call me and check on me to be sure I'm okay. 
because his wife and me will be talking and I'll start crying and she's like, Kelly, don't cry. You're going to get me crying. And I know he hears us, you know, so. Anyways, try not to be a big baby. It's like, how many people have to freaking get cancer? You know, Kim had cancer or has cancer from uh, two big women on the couch. So she's, you know, dealing with that and, and doing so awesome. She's an amazing, strong woman. I, I just love Kim to death. And I found out another girlfriend um, from high school has um, leukemia, but it's treatable. So, you know, I hope and pray that that's going to work out good. She sometimes watches my videos. She has a YouTube channel, too. Um, but I'm not going to post it because, you know, it's her business and all. You know, I don't want people to know, and, and she may, you know, want to be uh, keeping it a wrap. So I don't, I've only, I'm, I'm told any, hardly nobody, just one person, um, somebody else that I know that loves her to death. So, um, you know, I just want them to keep her in the prayers, but I haven't said anything to anybody else that knows her. Um, but, you know, it's it just sucks. It just sucks. And so anyways... Yeah, I did my makeup, so I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to go out, and I'm gonna go sing uptown at the barbecue place, and that's where I'm gonna go sing after work um, at this other place called Puckets in Baldwin, and um, yeah, oh yeah. So, like, you know, the 29 year old I've been kind of seeing a little bit here and there, here and there, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I like told him I wasn't gonna see him no more, and he always like freaks out every time I do this. And then I feel bad, so then I keep talking to him and, and kind of seeing him. But I told him, I was like, I'm done. I said, I can't do this anymore. This is this is not what I'm looking for. You're not what I'm looking for. There's no reason for me to keep streaming, stringing you along, and it's not fair. And you're just you're not what I'm looking for. You know, I mean, yeah, you're you're really super cute, and nice, and sweet, and, and handsome, and big, beefy, and tall. Like I love men. Um, the taller, the better. Um, I just, I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. And it's like, I think I'm ready. And then I totally blow them off. Totally blow them off. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm done. And, um, so I just washed my hair. So it's like, ah, itching. The fluffier my hair is, the more my scalp will itch. It tickles it. And, um, yeah. So just not ready. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't be in a relationship. I just, you know, people are like, oh, what time, what time, what time? It's almost been two years. Come on. Since the first breakup, the first when I made him leave the house. And it's, it's not going to change. I have so much deep hatred for men. It's pretty unreal. The hatred is like men basically disgust me. I have a lot of male friends and I love them and adore them. But, um, hang on, I'm trying to fix my camera. But basically they pretty much disgust me and, uh, they are very disappointing and I don't know. I just have no, yeah. I mean, I love men. I love men. I love their bodies. I love everything about them. But men are just extremely disappointing, and uh, they're cowards. Um, I don't know. I mean, all the men I see are just such, <clears throat> I don't know if there's mama boys or whatever, but I don't know what that is. But I'm not, not happy. I'm not happy with them at all, and I'm not selling for less. So um, I want a real man. I want a real man, a man that supports his family who is there for his wife and, and or, or girlfriend and is everything, you know, because I try so hard to be everything. I try so hard to correct mistakes that I make in relationships and the work and to be extremely open and, and, and it, just every way possible. I mean, I'm like, let's just sit down. Let's, let's make a list of what you, what you, what's your favorite things about me and what are little things that you maybe would like to change, you know, and, and not get mad about it. Be like, okay, let's work with this. And, um, or just sit down and write our favorite things about each other. The first time how we felt, felt about each other. I mean, I'm like crazy, romantic, crazy person. And, um, so, and I'm always willing to change, but I can't change so much where I'm just bringing myself down, you know, to, I don't, I don't want a guy that, 
lives in his mom's basement. So, anyways, um, and a lot of them do. A huge amount of them live in their mom's basement. Uh, they don't have no money. They don't have a job. They don't have a car. I'm like, eh, next. So, anyways, my video is getting so long, but I feel like I gotta, like, gotta catch everything up. Um, hey, kitty, 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 kitty. I like painting my toenails. They're so beautiful. It's such gorgeous weather here. And I'm like, I am pulling out my freaking flip-flops. Because, you know, I get the flip-flop collection from hell. And I put like three different types. I wish I could show you. I wish I was that limber. Um, three different kinds of glitter polish on. So I have like a, two coats of the base glitter, which is just a glittery and very, very pink polish. And then two more coats of a different glittery with more like some more confetti but tiny tiny confetti pieces and so when it gets in the sun it's gorgeous gorgeous yeah has some sexy feet okay after after doing um um feet at the uh, spa night between you and me I never knew why my uh, one of my exes always said I had very beautiful feet. And he's like, you have the sexiest, beautiful feet I've ever seen. I'm like, whatever. I, I have, like, short little feet, toes. I have big feet. I have little toes. I have a little bit of white feet. What's so? And they're like, because you take such good care of your feet. They're, like, soft. You, like, file them down. You lotion them. You do your toenails. And they're just so pretty all the time. And I'm like, oh. And then when I did other people's feet at this fall night I was like oh this is what he means because yeah you know, women get crusty feet I would never have a pedicure done if my feet were crusty and what I mean by crusty is when they get like rough to me it's like crusty crusty the clown feet so um I would for anybody a man touching my feet anybody they'd have to be filed and baby soft and yeah yeah I wouldn't let somebody touch my feet they were crusty Yuck. But, uh, <laughs> that's what I get. But I do love making women's feet pretty because I I'm not better at polishing my own toenails than I am other people's because I was kind of struggling. Because my feet are, like, perfect, like, you know, like, my fingers. You know, I mean, not, like, perfect, but they don't, like, go like this. And I realize a lot of people have toes <laughs> that go like this. This is impossible to paint. And then I tried to even do, like, the separators that you put in there for pedicures. Not it. Not working. Some people got some really mangled, crusty, deformed feet. I'm telling you. How can you paint toes like this? You can't. I'm like, now I know why my, I never, my feet are like spaced apart. My toes are spaced. I get that luxury. I can pick up stuff with my feet. Um, I don't have to have spacers or anything. So they're very, very beautiful. I keep looking at them. I've been like, because they're like so glittery and yeah. Do extra crazy glittery toes, and you will love it. Layer after layer of different glitters. Gorgeous. So, anyways, I think that is about it. <sighs> anyways, yeah, I think that's it. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, Pretty Catcher Girl sent me another postcard, but it's already hanging up on my door. Uh, thank you so much, sweetheart. I'll be sending you one back. And also, I, like, cleaned my door off. The door of fame is bare. I have five things on it now. I took all my stuff off and put it in one of my cute little boxes, all my letters from everybody, and I'm starting over. So you guys need to send me postcards and letters so I can fill my door back up and totally feel loved again. Because I'm like, I like, don't feel loved no more. It's empty with just tape all over the door. Because I like left the tape on there so I could just ping, put the letter up there and it's, I don't think fine tape. It looks pretty ghetto, but yeah, I need some postcards, people. I need some letters or something. Send me your love. I always write back. I love writing back. I love sending out my fat girls roll postcards, and I just I love writing people. I send people postcards from really all over the world. So um, I don't care where you're from. I will send you a fat girls rules postcard with my autograph. Not, but anyways, yeah, I got to go eat something. I'm starving. But you guys have an awesome weekend. Um, and thank you so much, Pam. You rock. You're so freaking awesome. I love her. She is so adorable. Every time I watch her videos, to me, she looks like a little girl. She has just got the most adorable face, the most beautiful curly hair. 
And every time I watch her, I'm like, she looks like a little girl. <laughs> I don't know why. It just, she's just so freaking cute. She reminds me of a little girl. Like the most adorable little redheaded girl. For real. That's always things. That's why I like watching her because she's so freaking cute. And she's pretty funny too. She cracks me up. But anyways, I love you guys. And fat girls rule. Bye.